One of America's most important founders was a man named Charles Thompson, who is said to have been closer to the events and the people of the American Revolution than any other man at that time. Thompson was the Congressional Secretary from 1774 to 1789, all the way through the Revolution and the establishment of the federal government. He was also the man who made the final decisions for the design of the Great Seal of the United States, which can be found on the back of America's dollar bill. As the new American Republic was being founded, Thompson made a detailed history of the events that took place during the Revolution and of the men who were being celebrated as heroes across the country. He was compelled repeatedly to publish that history, but Thompson declined. No, he said, I ought not, for I should contradict all the histories of the great events of the Revolution. Let the world admire the supposed wisdom and valor of our great men, he said. I shall not undeceive future generations. Thompson eventually destroyed his manuscript, and what may have been the truest account of the American Revolution was lost for all time. What did Thompson mean when he said he did not want to undeceive future generations? While we can't be absolutely sure, there are two facts that are certainly clear. One, that we are the future generation he was referring to. And two, that we have been deceived. Just exactly how we've been deceived and what we've been deceived about is precisely what this documentary is designed to discover. When we think of the Constitution, we usually think of the rights contained in it, like freedom of speech, protection against search and seizure, or the right to bear arms. Let's start the story from the real beginning, 4.5 billion years ago in a galaxy 17 light years away, when a nebula occurred. As the star exploded, it filled the space with tiny particles of a chemical element that shot outward in all directions. As it happened, it was during the 20 million years that the Earth was being formed. Bright yellow mist peppered the Earth and became ingrained in the Earth's crust. We call it gold. Since the beginning of man 300,000 years ago, he has treasured this rare metal. It is not only rare, but its concentrations are elusive and remain a mystery to science, making it an even and fair opportunity to be discovered by anyone. There are only a few areas on our planet that the metal has phenomenally concentrated itself enough to become practically obtainable in 1848, humankind learned that one of these concentrations was in the new land called America, as it was discovered by George Marshall as he was building a new river mill 
close to what is now called Sacramento. Thirty miles from downtown Los Angeles is a place called Malibu, California. In 1983, it was home to a young 23-year-old Marcelli Ann Nicholas, who went by the name Marzi. Marzi came from a very wealthy family and was in her final year at UC Santa Barbara. For the last three years, she'd been dating a man named Kerry Conley. When Marzi cheated on Kerry, Kerry became enraged. He lured her to his home in Malibu, where he took a shotgun and fired once, striking her in the head, killing Marzi. Kerry was charged with second-degree murder. Kerry's family had money as well, and he was released on a hundred thousand dollars bail. So, from the time the accused murderer was released on bail up until his conviction. Kerry Conley was able to continue life as normal. This infuriated Marzi's family, as they would see him at the grocery store and various places. One of those family members was Henry Nicholas. Despite having dyslexia, Henry spent 20 years in college. His final dissertation was the basis for a new computer chip, which he started a new company on. The company soon made him a billionaire. With a few billion dollars in his pocket, Henry began a campaign to introduce a new law designed to protect victims and victims' families. Funded entirely by Henry, with almost no outside contributions, on November 4th, 2008, the people of the state of California approved Proposition 9, the Victim Bill of Rights Act of 2008. Also known as Marzi's Law, this measure amended the California Constitution to provide additional rights to victims.